Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna make a fondant rose. What we're gonna need is water, cornstarch, ball tool, small brush, rolling pin, fondant cutter, and dowel. I don't have dowel, so I'm using this wooden chopstick from the uh, food takeaway. And we also need a uh, bigger brush, so I'm gonna use this brush for the cornstarch. Take some cornstarch, mix it with a small amount of fondant. Knead it until it's elastic and make a ball shape. Insert the bottom to the dowel and slowly roll it to form a bud. Once you get your bud done, take a small amount of the water and insert back to the bud. The reason we do this is to secure the stick to the bud. Once we're done, put it in a glass and set aside. And now take a small amount of the red fondant and a little bit more of the white fondant. Dust with small amount of corn stars. Knead it until combined to get a pink color. Now dust it again with the corn stars and roll the fondant with the rolling pin. Cut the fondant with cutter to form four small petals. Take each petal. Apply pressure on the sides with the ball tool. After we're done with the four petals, turn the petals horizontally. Apply water to the bottom part. Cover half of the bud with the first petal. The top side of the bud has to be in the middle of the petal. Now follow it with the next petals. All of these first four petals have to be placed horizontally. I apologize that I'm not wearing the glove. If there's anyone who wondering, because this video is only for the demonstration purpose. Mix the remaining pink fondant with the white fondant. Roll it and cut with fondant cutter to form 5 slightly larger petals. As you go around, you have to add one extra petal to every layer. Apply pressure to the side of each petal, exactly like the previous one. Apply some water to the bottom part. Now for the second layer, we still need to place the petal horizontally. Let the first petal open half and insert the second one underneath and overlap the first one. I repeat the same step to all the next petals. Adjust the petals so that it looks blooming. Add more white fondant to the previous pink fondant. Roll the fondant and cut it with the slightly larger cutter. Repeat the same step as earlier. But this time, make 6 petals. Dust your hand with cornstarch to avoid the fondant from sticking. For this layer, don't forget to press the middle part of the petal. Put some water to the bottom part of the petals. Apply the new petals in between the previous two petals. And the next petal going to overlap half of the previous petal. And I'm going to do the same thing to the next all petals. Wrap the stick with bottom part of the petals. Now using a small stick, roll the end of the petals out to create a blooming effect. We can stop here for medium size of rose, but if you wish to make it bigger, you can add more layers. Thank you for watching. 
don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button see you again very soon bye